comes to everyone. Rheumatic fever is a rare complication of untreated streptococcus pyogenes throat infection or scarlet fever or impetigo. It usually develops about 14 to 28 days after these infections. It is common in places with limited medical resources. Primarily a disease that targets age group between 5 to 15 years of age, a Jones criteria is usually employed to diagnose it. Two major or one major or two minor points are met in a patient. Major criteria is arthritis of several joints, migratory in nature, heart inflammation or carditis, bumps or nodules under the skin, rapid jerky movement or chorea, rhythma marginatum. Minor criteria is fever, elevated ESR or CRP, joint pain, EKG, history of previous rheumatic fever or rheumatic heart disease, Heart damage usually develops 10 to 20 years after a rheumatic fever diagnosis and might result in valvular stenosis or regurgitation, myocarditis, heart failure, and irregular heartbeats. The mitral valve is the most commonly affected valve. Diagnosis is by throat swab, anti streptolysin titer, EKG, and ECO. Treatment is by antibiotics, which after the first initial course should be taken for at least 5 years or through age 21 years to prevent rheumatic fever from coming back. Anti-inflammatory drugs like NSAIDs, corticosteroids and anti-seizure drugs for treating chorea. Hope all stays well with you. Palam.